What's up guys and welcome to yet another FIFA 19 icon review. Today we're taking a look at a much requested icon and that is none other than baby uh, Emilio Butragueno. He is a Spanish icon and Real Madrid legend. This is his baby version 87 overall. To be quite frank guys, whenever I've come up against uh, Butragueno, whether it was his baby, his middle or his prime version um, on this game, especially in foot champions guys, this card absolutely tears me to shreds. And in the comment sections and a lot of previous reviews, you guys have let me know that I need to give this card a go to try him out and to see how he worked for me. And I have played with him on past FIFAs, guys, and he has been very nice. Pretty much nothing changes as we go into FIFA 19 um, with this card. It is a pretty, pretty nice card and unreal. Nice stats. Um, we'll talk about the pros and cons in depth later. Look at his face card stats, guys. 90 pace, 86 shooting, 75 passing, 89 dribbling. Uh, that is 40 defense, 64 physical. He is 5 foot 6, which is a little bit on the shorter side. Medium, medium work weights uh, with the preferred foot of the right foot, but it doesn't matter because he has a 5 star weak foot, um, which I didn't even actually know about. I'm not sure if he had that on past FIFAs, um, but that is very nice. 3 star skill moves and then 7 goals and 1 assist in 6 games played. He has 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 90 attack positioning, 91 finishing, uh, 84 shot power, 84 volleys, 81 vision, 88 agility, 87 balance, 87 reactions, 89 ball control, 89 dribbling, 85 composure, 82 heading accuracy, and 82 jumping. Those are some weird stats there at the end. Because he is so short, it makes those um, you know, kind of hard to be put into use. Um, but really, guys, like I said, this card is phenomenal. Uh, six games played, seven goals, one assist. A couple were short, cut short due to rage quits. Uh, I did very well in division rivals in this uh, this with, with this team. You saw I had uh, Footmas De Bruyne, which is a sweet card as well. I saw uh, here, guys. You see what uh, Butragueno looks like in game. He actually has Emilio Butragueno, the full thing on his jersey. Once again, not sure if he had that on the past. People were pretty cool. As we'll get into the in-game highlights, guys, we'll discuss the pros and cons. You see him jetting towards goal and finishing there. Uh, it's going to com kind of combine our first two pros. The first one is his pace. Pretty obvious, guys. This card is known for how fast he is. Um, and really, pace used to be a huge thing on FIFA where literally if you had the fastest players, you were going to dominate the game. It's not necessarily um, the same anymore. Pace still puts comes into play, um, but it's not like super OP, but his pace definitely is super nice, guys, super fast. Second one is his finishing, guys. Um, like I said, before I, you know, I even did this review, I didn't really recognize that he had a five-star weak foot, but in-game, you really can feel that, and it's going to kind of combine with finishing as his second pro. He puts the ball in the back of the net when he has the opportunity, whether it's a finesse, whether it's a, a cross, outside curler, um, you know, basically, guys, if he is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, you can count on him slotting this one home, whether it's his right or left foot, which is a very a good thing to have up top. Uh, you know, when you have someone who can use both feet, you don't feel like you're one-dimensional if you're using maybe like an Iron Robin or Gareth Bale, Rivaldo-type card, um, which is also very nice. Now, guys, he has sweet dribbling stats as well. Uh, ball control is what I have for his third pro. You see there, just a nice quick cut. He's got good agility, good balance, um, and ball control is my last uh, pro. Because he only has three-star skill moves, so I don't want to give dribbling as a pro. I do have one con, guys. It is his size. Pretty obvious one. Five foot six. Sometimes he gets bullied off the ball a little bit. You really got to use that pace to your advantage and make sure he gets out and around defenders. As you see there on the overall summary, guys, I've given him a 9.4 out of 10. The pros and cons are listed there as well as the stats. Remember, six games played, guys. Seven goals, one assist. Couple were cut short due to rage quits. Um, so, yeah, guys, I played really well with this team, and Butragueno was a very nice card. 9.4 is a very nice score. Uh, if you had the coinage to pick him up, I would go ahead and do so uh, because he's a lot of fun. Make sure you put him with someone who's more of a target man. If you got a lot of coins, maybe put him up there with Van Bass, and that'd be pretty sweet. I hope you guys are enjoying these reviews. I know they're coming out a little bit slower than they were in the past. Um, but with the prices right now, guys, I'm just trying not to lose too much uh, on uh, transfer, transfer loss. So thank you guys for the support. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.